Hello and welcome to the Novatime Technical Library. In today's video, we're going to focus on access groups, specifically time zones associated with access groups. As you may know, access groups are what control what a user can see in the Novatime system. You have various access groups ranging from employee to supervisor to different types of administrators and various other roles within your organization. If you have to support multiple time zones within your company, it's important that you understand the impact. First and foremost, you have to select the Use Multiple Time Zones option within the Access List area. What this will do is it will tell the system that you do need to have the additional time zone settings as you set up each access group. You can also default any new access group to a specific location, and that's what this main location feature will do. So in this example, we'll be de defaulting new access groups as we create them to the Pacific Time Zone. Here you can see that we have multiple access groups listed on the screen. The ones that we're most focused on are the employees, because we have employees across the country that may be punching into the Novatime system. As they punch, it's important that the system looks at system time rather than local workstation time. And let's talk a little bit about that. The reason we use system time versus local workstation time is that it's too easy for end users to manipulate the time associated with web punches or activity within the Novatime system. For example, if an employee clocked in late at 8.15 a.m., if we relied on local workstation time, they could just roll their clock back to 8 a.m. to indicate an 8 a.m. punch. This is the reason we rely on system or server time at the time of punching. Your system is generally located in our Pacific data center. However, we do have an East Coast data center as well. So because of that, an employee punching in at 10 a.m., central time zone, needs to have their time offset by two hours. So when you have multiple time zones, it's important to check that within the system. So here what we do is we can select time zones associated with each access group. And what that'll do is it'll offset. So for example, you see employee East Coast Standard Time. You see that the time zone is set to GMT minus five. So it'll add three hours to that punch when the employee punches in or out. Additional options within the access list screen include daylight savings. It's important that you indicate with the time zone for your access group whether or not that time zone observes daylight savings. As we all know, there are certain time zones in Arizona, Indiana, uh, Atlantic, Puerto Rico that do not observe daylight savings, so you would uncheck that where applicable. Change password means that you allow them to change the password uh, within their uh, uh, user environment. Show rate. So if you have salaries or hourly rates loaded, you can indicate whether or not you want to have those displayed. If this is unchecked and you have rates loaded, it'll just be masked out with stars. If you have social security number loaded but you don't want them to see it, you can uncheck that. And the last one is enable RIA. So what does RIA mean? It's random image authentication. So when you log in, it's like a two-factor authentication. You'll both provide an employee ID or username and password as well as having to verify some random text on the screen. So if you need that type of added security, go ahead and check Enable RA. So that about covers our uh, access, specifically focusing on time zone options. If you have any questions, please work with your support representative or implementation consultant. Thank you.